If you're ever going to apply for a mortgage, this is really useful information. A lot of times when we people start the process, we have to get them approved. And part of that initial approval process is asking people for documentation. And you have to imagine that that documentation process is kind of like going to the Motor Vehicle Association and getting a driver's license. When you go get a driver's license, they're probably going to ask you for a list of documents. And it might be things like a copy of a passport, a copy of your birth certificate, a copy of your social security card, just documents to validate who you are. Well, if you get to the counter and you had your birth certificate, but you had a copy of the birth certificate, what would happen would be they would say, no, this is a copy. This is not the original. We want something with a raised seal. We want something with the actual seal. We want the document that was issued to you. If you don't have that, we want you to go back and get another original document. If they're looking at your passport and you're taking a picture of it, they could say to you, hey, this passport has multiple pages. We want to see the whole thing. We just don't want to see a picture of it. And so they basically are trying to validate who you are with the original documents. Mortgages are not that tough. What we're really looking for is PDFs of documents. And what I mean by that is your HR department probably gives you PDFs of your pay stubs and your W-2s. And so we would take that. We would even take a picture of it if it was real clear and we could understand what was what was going on. And then your bank statements. You know, sometimes bank statements are seven, eight pages. It will say at the bottom, page five of seven, page six of seven, page seven of seven. And the last two pages might just be an advertisement for a credit card or something, something really not relevant to you. But for mortgage purposes, we're going to want all the pages just to validate that there's nothing on there that might have some bearing on, on your situation. So mortgage documentation is really pretty much at the same level as it is to get a driver's license or any other official type document. And once you have that, it's a really, really simple process. You should really talk to your loan officer so you can be clear in terms of what he's going to need and what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. It's nowhere as difficult as getting a driver's license or as getting a passport or something like that. But there are real specific requirements that we can't really get around.